Zebra ZebraHerd, welcome to Zebra's Arcade, a series where we try a new game every episode. Today we're trying Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. I know a couple episodes ago we tried a new Harvest Moon game, and these are very similar stories of Season, Harvest Moon, Stardew Valley, they all have like a similar vibe to them about growing a farm, having all these plants and all these animals, so this should be a lot of fun. So let's get started and check out Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. A long time ago, my grandfather and his friends blazed a trail and established a new settlement. They called it Olive Town. Oh, that's so cute. I like all the art, all the illustrations. Lots of cute sheep. When I was a kid, I loved listening to stories of my grandfather's pioneering days more than anything. Since then, it's been my dream to live in Olive Town, just like he did. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, are we creating our own character? I think so. Okay, so I guess that's our dream. That was a little fast, but that's fine. I'm not super interested in like making my character super customized right now. This looks fine to me. I sort of want to get into the game as much as possible. There's voices though. Okay. 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 I'll do wild. I, I like that one. Okay, interesting. Uh. You know, we have like like different clothes and stuff. Okie doke. So, this looks good to me. I guess I don't want to customize the character too much, so I just want to get into it. I'm sure there'll be more customizations on the line. That'd be cool if there is. So here we are. I guess we're, we're are we going to Olive Town? Are we making our dreams come true? I guess we're about to find out. So far, the story's acting a little quick. Motorcycle color, I'll go with, I think red looks cool here. Yep, confirm color. Are we riding motorcycles around? Is that something that happens in this game? So far, this is interesting. But yeah, out of the, all these types of games, my favorite has always been Stardew Valley. It's been out for a little while now. I've just, I've always really liked that game. Okay, here we go, <laughs> riding in on our motorcycle. Well, even the big city. Wow, we're really making this happen right now. Oh, look at the little foxes, they're so cute. I love them, and the squirrels, I don't know what those are in the background. All day, all night, we're gonna get to Olive Town eventually. How far away is it? Gotta be getting close now, sooner or later, right? Nope, I guess we're camping out for the night. Uh-oh. Looks like a motorcycle broke down a little bit on, on, the, on the way, but... Ooh, that's a sign of olives. Ahead, Olive Town. Here we go. All right, we're almost there. This is so dramatic, I love it. So have we arrived? Finally, after days of travel. Hmm. Oh no, we're broken down again. And who might you be? Did you come all the way here on that motorcycle? I did. Well, that must have been an arduous journey. Your poor motorcycle tells all a story all its own. Ah, you needn't worry about it. I can have the repairs arranged. I'll be taking it to a man named Clemens who runs our tool shop. You can pick it up later once he's all done with it. Well, thank you. That's very courteous. Uh, by the way, why do I have your name? Oh yeah, we haven't actually set up our name yet. Of course, my name is Zebra, right there. Name is Zebra. You cannot. You cannot change this later. Yep. I see you. Your name Zebra, is it? That sounds so familiar. Where, where have I heard that name before? Oh my goodness! Your birthday. It's a. Uh, is it? Is it what I think it is? Yep, it's, uh, oh, so just like, weird, we, we played Harvest Moon, it was the same thing, you can't choose the actual month, you can just choose, like, the season for your birthday. It's a little weird, so I'll do Spring 17, instead of April 17th, it's choose birthday. Yes, I remember now, Spring 17! Come to think of it, his grandchild would be 20 by now. Ah, and that would make you, 
His grandson, yeah. You're a boy, yep. Yes, of course, my apologies. I don't know how I could have forgotten when you're standing, standing right in front of me. Goodness gracious, to think my dear old friend's grandson would find his way to Olive Town. Come on then, I'd be happy to show you to your grandfather's old farm. All right then, so it looks like we got some inheritance. That's always nice. It's a little run down, but that's okay. We'll probably be fixing it up or something. Is something the matter? Actually, let me guess. By the look on your face, you like to ask me, are you quite sure this is my, is this is grandfather's farm, sir? And to that I would say, it is. When your grandfather lived here, this farm was a lush and beautiful place. Emphasis on the was, I'm afraid. Now, what was the name of, the, of his farm again? It's on the tip of my tongue. Your grandfather must have told you the name of the farm, surely, what was it again? I think we'll call it Stripe. Yes, that's what it was, a Stripe Farm. Interested in taking over the farm, are you? Well, I can't say I'm well versed in the subject, but I can at least teach you the basics to start you off. All right then, so it looks like we're learning the basics to start our own farm. This is bound to be fun. Here you are, I'll pass these along to you. Thank you. These are the tools for developing the farm. As I'm sure you are well aware, where, this farm has seen better days, but those tools will be the key to changing all of that. Using tools and items. Press left and right to select an item in the item bar. You can use the highlighted item with Y. The bag. Items you find will be placed in your bag. Press X to open your notebook and view your inventory. Be aware of trees and stones while clearing things out. You'll need special tools to deal with those. Clearing the land. Using an axe while standing in front of a tree will allow you to chop it down. Stones can be broken with hammers and sickles can cut wild grasses. Utilize your tools to clear the land. I realize this is a lot to take in and it might be baffling at first. Take these things at your own pace and you'll gradually grow accustomed to it. Ah, and do use the sleeping bag in your tent if you find yourself exhausted from work. A good night's rest will restore your energy. Sleeping. Sleeping in your bed will recover your stamina. Your game progress will be automatically saved the next morning. You're welcome to take some notes on all this for future reference. If you do, you can read them from your notebook in your tent at any time. Viewing farm tips. Examining a book or bookshelf in your house allows you to view tutorial tips you've seen thus far. Following along so far, if you're unsure about anything, I can explain it to you once more if you'd prefer. I'm good, thank you. I think I got the basics. Excellent, glad to hear it. I have some other things I should explain to you as well, but I'd rather not overwhelm you. Let's wrap it up here for today. First, I'd like you to try out everything you've learned. I'll be back tomorrow to teach you how to grow crops. Oh, and if there's anything about Olive Town you'd like to know, I'm the man to ask. I'm the, I'm, it's the mayor after all. As a quick word of mayoral advice, I'd suggest you get acquaintance with a resonance. Leaving a good first impression is paramount, I always say. Now then, I'll be on my way, until tomorrow. All right, then, well, it was nice meeting you. He's very nice. I definitely appreciate it. He gives us lots of info. He gives us, I guess, a free bike repair or a motorcycle or whatever. All right, then, so we got our first day of spring here. We got new stuff, I guess. There's a couple things going on here. So we have our notes. We have our journal. We can write in our journal. Oh, this is where I guess we get save. Sure, let's save our data. Don't wanna lose it. Wanna make sure we save it. And then this is Encyclopedia. What about, first off, oh look at this, people have birthdays coming up. On the fifth, there's already somebody's birthday. So we have Angel's birthday and we have, coming up after that, Nguyen's birthday. I'm uh, sorry if pronunciation's wrong. Uh, but over this way, what else do we got going on? Outside of our tent, oh, it looks like this is probably where we can sell stuff, your fields. If you sow seeds in your fields, you'll be able to grow crops. Try planting some seeds after Mayor Victor's taught you a little more about raising crops. And can we maybe pluck these? We can harvest these ones. Wild crops. If you discover crops you've never seen before while clearing your land, harvest and ship them as soon as you can. If you do, those crop seeds will become available for purchase at all of town's shops. All right then, so let's definitely harvest these so that we can actually end up uh, using them later, I suppose. You know, I just wanna harvest this one. I don't know why it's being so picky. There you go. And yeah, I just definitely wanna sort of like explore the area, get a good idea of everything, because it told us about the tools, but we don't actually like have any of them. And a moondrop flower. Can't quite go in there though. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm just sort of exploring around, it's fun. Oh, we can repair this bridge. What do we need for this? Farm obstacles. As you repair or remove obstacles, you'll gain more farmland to work with. Uh, if you want to remove or repair it, you'll have to make a request at the carpenter's workshop. I think that's something we should probably hold on to for later. Uh, it doesn't seem like something we're supposed to do now. Uh, I'm just sort of exploring around. We got a chicken. Oh, there's a little chicken here. You have no place to house the animal. Try again after you've repaired the apical dilapidated facility, which looks like is right over here. I can't even get over to it. So, where exactly are we supposed to be going? We got some stuff over here, a wild berry. And wow, we're right by the ocean too. How nice is that? Can we, we can pick up some of the shells? Already harvesting lots of stuff. We got a blood clam, intense. And a onion. Okay, that was just an onion shell out there. I thought that was another clam or shell or something. Okay, good enough, good enough. I think we'll run back up here. This game's really pretty so far too. I like the art style, very relaxing. Okay, so I could like ship out all this stuff. I don't see a harm in it. So let's go for it. And go into Olive Town, yeah. Thank you very much. And <laughs> this little cow. All right then. Hmm. What does this sign say? The Hoof House Animal Shop, hours 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Closed Tuesdays. I don't know if, oh, it's Sunday, 1.40 p.m. So that are open right now. What is this? This is the Olive General Store. Olive General Store, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. So everything's closed on Tuesdays, it seems. Well, going to the store soon enough, I wanna find out where the mayor is. That's what I'm most curious about. Whoa, this looks like a very mayoral building. Lovett's House Gourmet Palace. Maybe not, though? Hmm. Nigel's Handiworks. That seems cool. Let's just get a lay of the town. Norman's Groceries. Capeside Bistro. Oh, that's cool. There's a lot to this town. Oh, this is really nice. Looks like some kind of like fishing supply store. Probably says Marco's house, though. Interesting. Okay, here's somebody. <laughs> Nobody's really been around. We have you over here though. Hey, buddy. It's George. Hey, I haven't seen you around before. Ah, your name's Zebra, is it? I'm George, Captain of the Ferry. Good to meet you, lad. All right, then. We met somebody new. And what about you? Hello. Hey. It's Laura. If you're looking for a low down for the lowdown on Olive Town, then you come to the right gal. Wait, you're Zebra? Mayor Victor told me about you. I'm Laura, the town's tour guide. No question is a dumb question, as far as I'm concerned. So fire away if there's anything you'd like to know. All right, then I'll keep that in mind. So what happens if we talk to you again? Huh? I want I want this town to be the most happening place around, so we bring in more tourists. That's a good idea. Oh, there's a cool boat here. Can't go inside of it though. I guess this is where tourists might come in though. Hmm. Goals Rest Hotel and Cafe. Same thing here. Interesting, so everything's like open at the same time, luckily. Can I take a seat? <laughs> cool. Oh, somebody just came out of the cafe. Hey, buddy. <laughs> this is Mikey. Hey, I'm Mikey. Fun fact, I can shoot lasers from my eyes. Pew, pew. What's your name? Zebra? Okay, I'm gonna remember, I'm gonna remember that. <laughs> All right, then. So we're making some nice, friendly faces. That's good. Oh, there's like a house to be here. Huh. Yori. Dear me, I have not seen you in these parts before. Are you new to this town? You are a zebra? A fine name. I shall commit it to memory. I'm called Yori. I hope we will forge an excellent relationship. I love like, the variety of names so far in the town. Skills. As you get used to farm work, you'll find yourself leveling up various skills along the way. When these skills level up, you'll gain special traits to learn and learn new crafts. That's cool. So maybe what do we learn there? Communication level up. That's good. Oh, here's the mayor. What can we do to get more tourists to come? I thought we had to talk to him for something. I'm not really sure what we're supposed to be doing right now, but for right now, you know, talking to everybody's been fun. Yeah. Jacopo. My old man told me about you. You're a zebra, right? Oh, this is maybe the mayor's son. He looks like him. I'm Jacopo. In case you haven't guessed, I'm the mayor's son. I got a gig working on the ferry. Pleasure's mine. Well, that's nice. Hello. This is uh, Cindy. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Cindy, and you are... Oh, you're a zebra? So you're the one who's going to be living on the farm. Might I come by to play sometime? Sure. This is just a tourist. The sun is nice and warm today. Well, I guess we do have tourists around here. Are these all tourists? Hello. This is Karina. I do not know how to pronounce that one. Uh, en Enchanty, Enchante, 
I'm Karina, a stylist. I just moved to this town too, funny enough. Well, we, we should help each other get settled. That sounds great. Hello. Oh. This is Jesse. My, my, hello there. And you are? Gracious, your zebra? Now that I think of it, you do look quite a bit like your grandfather. Oh, so she knew our grandfather. My name's Jesse, I was good friends with your grandfather, you know? That's pretty cool. And this is, uh, okay. Simon. Ain't you, Zebra? I heard about you from Victor. I'm Simon, my daughter took over the general store from me. That was still help her out. I'm pioneer this land with your grandfather, you know? Those were the days. All right, cool. So I don't know if there's like a general like goal right now I can look at. The tool bag. The tools can be all stored in the tool bag. When you need them, take them out to use them. When you're And when you're done, you can store them back in, in there. Make the best use you can of the special tool storage. So do we have any tools right now that are like, I don't think so. Like that's sort of like, where where do I get my tools from? Not really sure. Uh, but there's some more characters to talk to. So like I sort of, like I've been having fun with that. What a peaceful town. That's a tourist. Yeah. This is Damon. You a tourist? Oh, you're the one who took over the farm. You're Zebra, right? I'm Damon. I'm sure I'll see you around. And what is this? This is Olive Hall. This is where the mayor would normally reside then. Olive Hall, requests from the townsfolk are posted up on the bulletin board in the back of Olive Hall. Submit the requested items and you'll be rewarded for your efforts. Oh cool, so we got like little quests around here, huh? Olive Town Bulletin Board, requests from the townsfolks will be posted on the bulletin board daily and will change every day. If you submit the requested items, you'll be given a reward as thanks for your trouble. That's cool, so is there any requests right now? I need two blood clamps. I just sold those now! Whoops, okay, well if I find any more, I'll give them over. Getting title rewards. Whenever you've fulfilled certain conditions and obtain new titles, come to Olive Hall. You'll receive rewards based on the titles you've gained. Do I have any right now? We have new farmer. We get some milk, that looks like. Novice logger, learn the logging skill. Uh, learn the reaping skill, the mining skill. I guess we learned all these, we get some coins for these. Interesting. Uh. The radio, you can listen to the weather forecast on the radio. It's important for farmers to know what the weather will be. You'll be able to listen to the forecast for the next day and beyond, so be sure to tune in. All right, everyone, you know what time it is. We're coming at you with the weather report. Looks like spring one, Sunday, is going to be sunny with clear skies. Sounds like the perfect day to sunbathe. Spring two, Monday, will be sunny. Cherries and oranges are in season, folks. Eat your fill while you can. Looks like clear, sunny skies are in store for day three, or, or spring three, Tuesday. How about taking some time to go out shopping for groceries? Thanks for tuning into our report. See you tomorrow. All right then. So I just want to sort of maybe explore some of the buildings might be the best bet for right now. Seems like there's like a lot to the game though. Like what's in here? This is the museum apparently? Wow, okay, we don't have any of this filled out. Totally empty. Hmm. Is this just like the mayor's living quarters? Am I being a little invasive right now? Uh. Maybe, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna head out of here. And I guess this is the mayor's son's room. That's cool and everything. It's weird, it feels like a mix between like, like, you know, what I know from like Stardew Valley and like something like Pokemon almost with like how you can explore these environments and how the game looks with its top down view. It's pretty cool. So I guess this is the, the mayoral office. All right, well, I think we've done all the things we can really do here. So we'll head out for now. But there are still more around here, it's crazy. What is this? This is the Owl Museum. So I guess this is like a different way to enter it, which I still don't really have too much I can do here, but maybe somebody's talking to us, hi. Gloria, pardon me, yes, you over there. Might I have a moment of your time? Owl Museum was established so that our, the tourists the world over could view some of the splendors of our, our, our town holds. As you can see, however, we currently have few spectacles to attract our visitors with. It's quite the conundrum. For a while now, I've considered making art of the local wild animals, but I don't have the resources I need. I have a request for you. If you have the time to do so, would you be able to take pictures of those wild animals? Ooh, sure. Using the camera. Photos can be taken with the camera. You'll be able to move around while in camera mode as well. A blue outline will be displayed on wild animals whose photos you can donate to the museum. I suppose I could also mention that I have interest in building an aquarium. If you could donate any sea creatures to us, I'd be most grateful. Oh, and I almost forgot. From time to time, you might come across rocks of ages past. Right, I can't get enough of them. If you find something out 
of the ordinary, feel free to show it to her. She'll examine it for you. We'd appreciate any support you can provide us. I'll be counting on you. All right, we'll do. So this game even has a museum to contribute to. That's nice. Olive Museum. The museum accepts a wide variety of donations, such as treasures you find on the farm, photos of wild animals, and fish. Appraisals are in the museum shop. After making a new donation, Beth will create and sell faux decor you can place in your home. If you happen upon any of the mysterious or time-worn objects, you can hand them over to Reyna for appraisal. So it's like a lot going on everywhere. And I don't know what exactly we want to get to for today's video. I thought that maybe just going into town would sort of like, you know, give me the tools I need. <laughs> so I don't know where they are, so we're just gonna ignore everything else. I thought that talking to the mayor or finding out where the mayor was, because they didn't say like, oh, if we talk to the mayor, I don't know. Like this is the, the hoof house animal shop, which is cool. I think that maybe the general store would be better for us. Maybe they would have, what, like uh, tools. Of general store. The general store sells seeds, seedlings, and other various products. Their lineups change each season, so check back often to see what's in stock. Okay. Lots of seeds and stuff. I have 3,000 gold, so maybe we can get something. Ah. Howdy, you Zebra, right? I'm Angela, my family runs the general store. Nice to meet you. Ah. Welcome to Olive General Store. How can I help you today? So they definitely sell a lot of seeds and stuff. Maybe we'll buy just something simple, like a couple potato seeds. We'll buy five. And then like three turnip. That's all I can really afford right now. That's fine. I am, <laughs> we just sow the seeds right here in the, in the living, room, living room floor, huh? I am so confused though on like, where are our tools then? I'm not quite sure. Like here's our bag. Oh, okay, I'm being silly this whole time. All right, that's, so now we know we can go back to the farm and figure this out a little bit. Okay, so after a lot of bumbling around, I've realized we already have these tools, so we could just go and, you know, use them. I don't know, do we, is that all of our tools? Or we would have to have more, right? Yeah, we, what's our fourth tool? What's a camera? So actually, I don't know if we can sow these seeds. We might as well try it. Can we sow the seeds here? That doesn't work. Um, That's weird. Cause like I, I have the ax, which is great for chopping down trees and stuff. Let's do one that's maybe a little bit more clearly in view. Like this one, it's not really, but knocking this down, not too much of an issue. But I don't have anything that like sows the seeds. I can sickle down the grass, really easy. You can see I have plenty of energy in the top left. So we, we can keep at this, you know. Okay, I'm trying to move over. Oh, and there's a little, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh. Let's pull up the menu real quick. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons here. I wanna take a picture of the little squirrel. It's nice that we already have two lines of inventory though. No, the squirrel ran away! Where'd you go? Oh, he's gone. He's out of here. I took too long. That's okay. Uh. Yep, let's chop this tree down too. You can tell that like, it would take us a while to get through all of our hearts, it seems, so we could actually make a lot of work through the trees. I'm not like super interested in that, it gets a little boring after a while, but. What about the uh, the stump? Okay, that's also the ox. And I think the hammer is for rocks. Can't just like hammer the floor with nothing there. Oh, that does make me curious. There was like a cave over this way? I wonder, okay, excuse me, pardon me. Uh, I guess we could try to get our way into that little farm shed tonight. Like we're running out of time a little bit, but so I wasted all my time in the in the the town, sort of running around, not really knowing what I was doing. Okay, we got some extra rocks. So let's enter the mine. Whoa! What you can do in the mines? Ore type items can be obtained in the mines. Dig as deep as you can, but be sure to keep an eye on your stamina. If you need to exit, you can use the ladders to climb up. Ore veins and sparkling locations. If you spot an ore vein in the mine walls, smash it with your hammer to get lots of ore. Keep an eye out for sparkling locations too. If you dig there with your hoe, you might find something rare. That's cool. Whoa, okay, so this looks like it's gonna be a lot like the mine from Surdue Valley where I guess you can just sort of like dig through and you go deeper and deeper. I'll go down one more level and see if we can find anything cool, but not super focused on it. Ooh, here we go. I can't hammer this up though. Maybe I could just walk over and pick it up. 
I don't know what to do about that. Uh, maybe I need a pickaxe. This is breaking open now. There you go. All right then, that's cool, let's leave. It's getting a bit later in the day, so I just wanna make the most of our time here. 7 p.m., I don't know how late the game lets you stay up. Some games, I feel like like this, it's a while, and some games it's not much. So I guess I could sort of sneak in here. The repairing facility, several dilapidated structures exist on the farm, try to repair the coop first so you can raise chickens. So we need logs, stone, and grass. So we could probably do that. Just like right now, just like work on that, knock everything down, build this coop. And we can sort of clear out this area of the farm. No, nope, wrong thing. In the meantime. So just sort of be like some good multitasking. There you go. Oh, and we got level two for uh, logging. So I guess it'll make everything easier. I don't know if it'll make it faster to like chop stuff down over time. That'd be nice. Okay, for this one we have, oh, the ax. All right, so far, not too bad. Okay, stamina. Okay, yeah, we've definitely worked through a lot more here. Using tools will deplete your stamina. If you run out of stamina, you'll pass out and wake up in your house the next day. Choose a meal from the item bar with Y to eat it. Uh, eating meals will recover salmon. We don't have any right now, unfortunately. I think most of the stores are probably closed at this point. Yeah, we're starting to feel tired, but that's okay. This is to keep out our work for now. There you go. So we have 20 logs. How many did we need? We needed 20 exactly. So that's perfect. For stone, though, we needed 20 as well. But we're up to eight. So I'll keep trying to make progress. Oh gosh, on that a little bit. There you go. That gets me another. You can tell it's gonna be one stone at a time then. No, actually, sometimes it's two. That's good. And we got level two for mining. It's so weird that mining is done with a hammer instead of a pickaxe. Not what I'm used to in these kind of games. There we go, that one only took two hits. Very good. So the better we get at this, the more stamina we save. And there's another rock back here. It says the 17, so if we can get over this way, I know of two more rocks. Hopefully this is enough for us, because we're slowly running out of stamina. And that's gonna be 20, awesome. So how much of the grass did we need? 30, that's a lot more demanding. But also I don't think it uses up as much stamina. If it's like Stardew Valley, it doesn't use up any. So that'd be nice. Or two two and three quarters hearts right now, so we'll find out. No, okay, definitely does still use stamina. I don't know if we'll be able to get 30, 30 grass out of this sun. But I will certainly try. And then we got level two for reaping. Oh gosh, we have two hearts. I'm trying to be very careful here, not overdo it, but we're halfway through. I'd like to. Oh boy. I mean, whatever we don't do today, we can do tomorrow. Tomorrow's a new day to accomplish new things. I, I also wanna be as efficient as possible. So I'm gonna make the most of this. I won't go down like any lower than like half a heart. How's that sound? There we go. New title, Keeper of the Full Bag. So we got 32 of them. Let's go ahead and repair. So there we go, at least we were able to do something pretty major today. We, we fixed the coop. And name of the facility. Uh, I'm not I'm not very creative at the moment, so I'm just gonna call it the coop. Yep, sounds good to me. Uh, coops, chickens can be raised in coops. By giving them fodder or letting them graze outside, they'll lay eggs in the coop for you to gather the next day. So we can go inside of it. I don't think there's any chickens at the moment, but. Feeding your animals. Place fodder in your animals' feed bins. They'll eat the fodder from the bins every day. Animals who have been fed will produce byproducts the next day. So we don't have any animals right now, but maybe at some point. There's also notes here. Interesting, so there's like a lot going on in this game, lots to do. I wanted to plant some, but it's not giving me the option to like sow my seeds. So like that's a little weird, but there are characters exhausted. I think it's time to go to bed. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. All right then, so let's sleep. Maybe we'll learn a little bit more in the next time. 
But so far, a very fun, relaxing, and peaceful game. It's what I enjoy. Um, so we did make some money off the stuff I did decide to sell. Uh, that's good, mostly on the onions. And the general store has expanded, and the grocery store has expanded its product lineup. Very cool. Auto save complete. So what's going on in day two of spring? Hopefully some good stuff. Hopefully we can plant these, these potatoes. Now then, it's time I explained how to grow crops. So first, you'll be needing these. So now we're learning, that's good. These will be your basic tools for field work. So you, so take good care of them. Seeds can be planted on untilled soil, so you'll want to use the hoe to till it. Once that's done, you can sow seeds on the tilled soil. Then, and this is important, you'll want to water your crops diligently every day. Don't forget about them. Use the hoe to till fields. Once the fields are tilled, seeds can be sown. They'll steadily grow into harvestable crops when watered daily. If your watering cans run out of water, you can take it to a well to refill it. After a few days of care, your crops will be ready to harvest. You can place crops in that shipping bin over there. It'll be shipped out and you'll be compensated for your hard work. I think it's about time we put those turnip seeds I just gave you to good use. All right then, so we can ship items. Items you place in the shipping bin will be exchanged for money the next day. The items will remain in the shipping bin until the next day and can be returned to your bag if need be. Also, I could have gotten the, the, the one clams back. Ah, by the way, did you happen to see any wild crops while you were clearing the farm? If you ship out, uh, ship those crops out, our local shops will begin to sell the seeds. So be on the lookout for them, which I did, very useful. Let's see, tomorrow I'll teach you how to make use of any logs and stones you might have collected. It looked like junk, I know, but they're useful materials and we used it already to build a whole coop. Hmm, well, am I going out of my way to teach you all this, you ask? I owe your grandfather a great debt. I've always wanted to repay him for it. Teaching his grandson is one of the ways I can do that. In any case, I should get going. Worry not, worry not, I'll be back tomorrow. All right then, well that's good. So I think that's the last thing we'll do in today's video is we'll sow these seeds. Um, sounds like fun to me. But we do get a new title, Harvester, and I think that hopefully somewhere in our tool bag, we have uh, the appropriate tools. So we had the hoe and the watering can right there. Let's go. So. I think that will go over to where we found the crops. Seems like a good spot to you know get started. We have quite a few seeds as well, so hopefully we can make something major happen here. I don't know if I'll plant all of them, but I'll plant as many as I can. But yeah, so far this game's really fun, really relaxing, and I'm playing it on the Switch if I haven't mentioned, so that's nice, this is the kind of game you can sort of kind of like bring on the go and enjoy anywhere you want. There you go, and got it. So. Uh, yeah, I won't plant all of them, but we'll plant five potatoes and we'll plant five onions. Sounds good to me. Actually, those are turnips. We should have onion seeds available soon because we just sold some last night we found in the wild. There we go. Those are potato seeds clear. And I'll see the turnips, same thing. Hopefully it's okay to walk over them. Seems to be so far. And then what is this? This is a cherry seedling, that seems cool. Look at that on a moment. Right now I definitely need to water. And hopefully, I'd imagine that this game has some more things in Stardew Valley where there's probably like upgradable things in terms of watering cans that could cover greater lengths or something. But for now, I should be able to, oh no. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted. Watering can, there you go. Uh. Should be able to keep this covered. And got it. So where can I put this? Oh, we got our, our field work level up, that's cool. Where can I put this seedling, sapling? No seedling. How about, cannot be planted here. I don't know, maybe I do have to like, kill the soil. Doesn't really work around here anyways. Hmm. Let's see that and I'll try it one more time. Nope, okay, a little bit of a mystery to me. It's fine. Um, I do need to set up this well though, sure, put it here. Cool, so now I can get more water whenever I need it. Very useful. 
Hopefully I can move this around if I need it. But there we go, you get the idea with this game. You can farm, you can meet residents, you can do lots of stuff, it's a lot of fun. These kind of games usually take tons of hours to complete. You can get really into it, make a really cool farm. Um, I definitely like it, you know, now that I've played the newest story of the seasons and the newest Harvest Moon, I do think I like this one a little bit better. I think this is more my style. But I'd love to hear what kind of these games you enjoy the most. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Zebra's Arcade. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.